day working with the Clearwater products. Uh, we had issues, we wash aggregates for an asphalt company. And we had problems over the years with our wash pot. What do we do with the product? How do we take care of it? We tried all sorts of different angles and opportunities and then found Clearwater. Uh, they put the system in and it has been great ever since. It used to take us three to four days to clean this mud pond. Uh, we've got it down now where we can usually get it done in a day. The labor savings on that alone pay for the product. Uh, I We've been thoroughly impressed and I really say if you're in this scenario, it's worth the time to look into it. Looks good. We're out at a sand plant today. These guys have got some pond problems here. Having troubles getting clean water, really mucky solids to deal with. So we've got a dry polymer system ready to go here in the shed that we'll be starting up to help flocculate these solids and produce clean water. This is the flock machine. The polymer comes dry and we dilute it down to a very low concentration. This is a single tank design that eliminates the complications of having a transfer pump or a dump valve or additional tankage. The prop mixer here helps with the mixing of the product. Should stop batching here shortly. We're going to get to this high level. And this is where the polymer is pumped out. That goes out to the pipe. The end of the pipe there. The system is completely automated. You've got manual override controls for all the components. Automation switches down here to uh, do remote speed referencing on some of the more important devices. This is a real nice setup. They've got it in a shed that could be easily heated to run into the longer winter months up here in Wisconsin. And they've also got some room for uh, the dry polymer. We'll take one last look at the pond out here. Still biting, looking good. Here's the fresh water pond for the plant. You can say, see it's staying real nice and clean in contrast to the, the mud side. Now you can actually see how the solids are starting to stack up. We're getting a little solids volcano out here, which is awesome. Starting to build up on each other. These solids are gonna be a lot easier to dewater and help keep this pond clean. It's another shot of the feed pond. They've got a relatively small pond set up here. But you can still see that there's no solids. We've got kind of a, a green tint to this water that's common. Maybe a little bit of algae or something. But when we come over to this intermediate pond, you can see there's no solids coming out. It's going to be reduced maintenance for these guys.